everyone and welcome to Fiora the Tank Driver Girl and today on Armored Gunner, Warfare we have the Grozdinka, the precision up. artillery for Driver, tier 4. I am platooned up with Alice and Sakura and yeah we're being horrible terrible arch players and, and a swing far. So let's see just what the Grozdinka can do. Alright, I'm just going to ignore chat. I've had a wonderful day on livestream today. Rita Gamer actually broadcast uh, and hosted my stream while I was streaming, which was awesome because Rita is made of awesome. And, uh, ooh, we got enemy tanks moving up. Hello, Leopard. Where are you going to go? Oh, you stopped. Darn. Hoping you'd keep going forward. And I need to move because they are going to counter me so hard. Zooming in on. Oh, smoke grenades. Nice. There's Mr. Patton. Show me a Patton. Show me a Patton. There's Patton. Fire in the hole and miss. I am not very good with Artie. And artillery in this game is not really a. Uh, um, how should I put this? A devastating hit, so much as a finishing move. Ah, I don't even know if I did any damage. Nope, didn't actually hurt him. Scared him. Didn't actually hurt him. Release! Smack! Damn it, move! What's this? I see a leopard. Ow. I just got hit by enemy already. Is that counter battery working for you? And we're zooming in on these MBTs who have moved up to this position. And release! Anytime now. I know I want to make a positive spot. Fling it. That probably hit. Gonna move Level on. Up. Oh, there's the Artie. He's playing counter so hard, which is it's not a bad idea, but it is not the brightest idea in the world because it means you're not supporting your front line. And I know your position now. I can get safe from you. <gasps> Artie having to get Artie safe? Yeah, that's the thing. So many arty players just play pure counter, and I look at them and go, why? You need to be supporting the front line. Like this. Hello, almost dead Patton. How are you today? I'm great. Boom. Go away. Stop shooting my friends. Hello, nearly dead leopard. Oh, you're dead. Who's next? Who wants to peek out? Is it you? I need to move and rotate. But I'm going to miss that shot. Ah, oh, why? Why? Oh, well, I'll go for the patent. Oh, my God, this is too beautiful. I have full side armor and everything. Release. Oh, 29 hit points away from taking him out of the game. And I see the arty shell fired. So I know I'm not at risk of being countered. And I just zoom right in on this patent. What was this? The leopard? The leopard? No, no, no. Not happening. Ooh, another leopard. Fire anyway. Gotta splash something. Sakura takes out the enemy Patton, who I left on 29 hit points. I look down here and go, well. Since you want to play base defense, I'll let you have a round. Merry Christmas. 
Have a nice life. Oh, I see that already. I see it. I see it. Just gotta wait for him. Splash it. Splash it hard. There he is. There he is. He's right there. Fling. And... Splashed! I'm not doing a lot of damage. He's gotta be so pissed. He's getting shot at by two already right now. Fire! And boom! There he goes and the turret flies and it's done! The deed is done. Now, I'm not amazing in Artie. I do enjoy this, but I'm not amazing in it. Still kind of learning the ropes with Artie, because I haven't really played Artie in, in World of Tanks, and I really don't use my artillery in War Thunder, so... It's really hard to strike that, uh... To, to, to play a completely different play style. Now, you guys are going to see two Grustinka replays tonight. <gasps> yeah, I'm giving you guys a double feature. Oh, oh, this leopard. Oh, this leopard. Fire. Oh no, he got away. Poor Sherry. I'm sorry, Sheridan. I tried really hard. We almost let him right. That one hit. Oh, that definitely hit. Look at that. Ah, oh, he's got to be so pissed. And Sakura is about to fling her shell or his shell, and it's over. So that's the end of that one. I think Sakura had a much better game than I did. But let's go find out from the stats. And then I'm going to pause the recording. And we're actually going to go have a second Grostinka replay. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, giving you guys a double feature. Mainly because I feel like it. And we load into the garage. Now, I didn't do a lot of damage. I only did about 800. Most, Almost all my damage was splash. I only did 600, and I got two kills. But it gives you an idea of what Artie's like to play. Now, let's go take a Hey, guys. So we're on Cold Strike on the southern end, where Artie has a huge advantage because you can hide behind the bus stop and the hotel from all counter-battery fire. This is a completely unfair advantage, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. Gonna be looking for that enemy already. Of course, I don't have a lot of priorities right now. There's nothing spotted. I don't really have a need to shoot stuff. And we're just searching, looking for that already. Where's he gonna be? Is he going to be over here? Is he going to be down there? Is he going to be up in the radio tower? Where is he going to be hiding? I really wish that they could find a way to determine XP for Artie when you fire and make something move. That would be awesome, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. And this is what already is a lot of the time. You're sitting and you're waiting on your allies to find something. Oh, that's a little close. Don't have a shot. Anything? Anything? Both sides are being really, really, really cautious. Nothing's out here yet. Uh, hey Amex. No? Looking for that Artie? Not seeing it. Don't have a shot at those MBTs. I got nothing here. Just sitting here, being real attentive to my map. There's the pink. There he is. Release. Oh, he's like, I'm getting double countered? No way. Yeah, we haven't had anything to do yet, so we've just been kind of sitting here. I'm starting to relocate so I can get shots on that leopard. <laughs> I 
and the counter battery fire does not let up. Now I'm really guessing about where he's going to move to, not necessarily where he is at. And I spy me. Ooh. Some MBTs in the open. A T62 and a Leopard. Ah, oh, he stopped. Well, at least I scared him with his warning. Ammo up. And I'm like, please stop that BMP. Please stop that BMP. It would be so nice if you guys would stop that BMP. It would be awesome if you guys would stop that BMP. Alright, move up to already safe position. And prepare for incoming BMP. And the tension mounts. Where's that BMP? Where'd it go? Uh, I got shots on these guys. I may as well take them. Up oh, there he is. How you doing, swing fire? Uh, little ninety pointer. Oh crap! BMP. Three seconds until I'm loaded. Aiming in, aiming in. Oh, I'm sorry, Sakura. I'm I'm zooming. I can't zoom any faster. Release! Gotcha! No! This already can defend itself. Gotta be real cautious in this game, because already can really defend itself. It can't, you know, kill you unless you're already weakened. But it can really defend itself. This shot. I swear to you. This shot. <laughs> Your request is granted, BMV. That shot, that was priceless. AFK Sheridan. Huh, don't mind if I do. Shell away. And oh shit, I got incoming. Where was that Sheridan? Right there? And I pull over and I zoom in and I try to get this Patton, but he's already out of the way. However, this other Patton is clearly able to be fired at so I'm trying to figure out just how to get that shell in there there it is fire smash hi Patton how are you it doesn't do a lot of damage but it is enough to scare you it's enough to hurt you it's enough to let you know it's gonna hit you up zoom in zoom in come on I want to hit this Patton again fire And now it's time to run away. Very, 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 very quickly. Oh, hello, Artie and, Sw Artie and Sheridan. How are you today? Release. Ah, uh, nothing. Well, I can shell that share. I can keep trying to hit this already. Which is proving quite difficult. Oh, what's this? He got stopped stop somewhere? Fire! Aw, oh, crap, he's gonna get away. He's proving quite evasive. But considering that my shell has an 11 second flight time, I'm almost reloaded by the time the shell lands. nice to blow up a truck. No. Oh well, I'm going to take the kill. Goodbye, Sherry. 
Should have been AFK. Really? Are you serious right now? That didn't finish it? Fine, I'll deliver one more. Target down. That did. Okay, I need to get set up in a position to receive the enemy and hopefully get off one last shot. Because I know for a fact that this is over. I mean, I don't really expect to be able to carry this match out in this already at this point. Not with all those MBTs bearing down on me. And most of them with a lot of hit points. So I start to make my way across the bridge and I get spotted by the patents. And rounds are going out at me right, left, and sideways. Go, go, go. I escape. Ha ha, I escape. I'm not going to escape for very long, I don't think. I think they're going to cut me off. Yep, T-62. I fire the move and miss. He's going to reload before me. But it doesn't matter as the patent finishes me. I wish I would have stopped and shot. I might have killed the 62. So, let's take a look at the stats. Not a bad match. Not a great match, but... Again, I'm not the best arty player in the world. Um, and I actually prefer the M109 to the Grostinka. I prefer the uh, the tactical boom than the uh, precision hits. So, we are going to look at... This is EA1. So, 900 damage, 2 kills. Not a bad game, not a great game, but not a bad game for an arty. Especially considering the number of shells I missed with... Uh, but yeah, this is this is how Artie's developing. This is kind of how it works. I um, hope you've enjoyed these two little replays. In the meantime, this is Fiora officially signing out for right now. And I will see you in the next video. Look forward to an updated T-72 and an M-60A3 next week. So, bye bye for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why not click the like button? It would really help the channel and let me know that you're enjoying my content. Want to see more content? There's a subscribe icon right there so you know when I put up videos I would appreciate it also if you help grow this channel's community so share this with your friends or just put it up on Facebook. Want to help Fiora out directly? There are three ways you can do this. One is the patronage page which all the investment towards I put right back into the channel through contests and paying for things like video editing software. Then there are two ways to support the channel directly. One is click the ads that YouTube shows you. This is how YouTube pays its content creators, by your clicks on those advertisements. The other and last way to support the channel is through fan funding that is now available through Fiora's channel page. If you happen to have an extra dollar or two, it would really let Fiora know that her videos mean something to you. Anyway, please check out these other videos here on the end page collage. And as always, I will see you on the battlefield or in the next video. Till then, this is Fiora signing out.